Uber and Lyft, threatening to shut down their operations right here in California as the debate heats up over how to classify their workers. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia is live tonight in Cathedral City with what local drivers are saying about this. Jake. Karen, good evening. And this is all about whether rideshare drivers should be considered independent contractors, which comes with a certain level of freedoms, or full-blown employees who have benefits like sick leave and overtime. We're on notice that we may be shut down in eight days. Rideshare drivers in the Coachella Valley and statewide on high alert after a San Francisco judge ruled that Uber and Lyft are violating California law AB5 by continuing to classify drivers as independent contractors rather than employees. Spray down the car each time if I fog it out. I've got the plexiglass. Yeah, it's a lot more work, that's for sure. Monica Kissler is taking precautions to keep herself and her passengers safe from coronavirus. She wants to remain an independent contractor and hopes this week's decision will be appealed and the company is allowed to operate until voters can give them an exemption in Proposition 22. We can refuse to take a ride. We can set our own rates. The riders can now decline our rates. So you have a little more control on both ends. That does make us an independent contractor. Uber and Lyft, they love to do these fear mongering and lie tactics. Um, this is how they operate. This is how they have left. Kenneth Martinson wants the benefits that come with being classified as an employee, like sick leave and the right to unionize. Right now, uh, Uber has all of the say, and we have none. If we disagree with them, we're just deactivated. He says business is steady here in the Valley, even during the pandemic. And while he doesn't believe the rideshare companies would actually shut down, he's urging them to see his point of view. Of the money they spend on fighting AB5, you know, they've got a lot of money. <laughs> we wish they would just pay us instead of fighting this. And Uber and Lyft both say that classifying their workers as employees would cause them to have to cut thousands of drivers loose. The judge granted a 10-day stay on that ruling. Both Uber and Lyft plan to appeal. We're live in Cathedral City tonight. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3. Jake, thank you.